What is going on guys? Welcome to a very, very different video for this channel. The first of its kind and time will tell whether it's the last of its kind, but uh, something that I haven't really talked about on this channel pretty much at all. I talked about a little bit on my other social media platforms if you follow me on there, but the year of 2023 has been a journey for me as far as making some serious lifestyle changes, making much healthier choices uh, about following diets and adjusting what I eat, but more than anything else, just upping my fitness routine back to what it used to be back before I started doing YouTube and had a full-time job and a family and all the other things that wear us normal folks down and make us think there's just not enough time or energy in the day to do it anymore. So yeah, since about February or March of this year, I've been going to the gym six times a week uh, as, as much as I can. There are very few weeks where I can't make it that much. And uh, I try to focus on strength training. I try to do some cardio, just overall trying to live a healthier lifestyle so that I feel better, I look better, and I'm here longer. And of course, ever since we took health class back in grade school, we have all heard almost every day of our lives from somebody the benefits of a good diet, the benefits of an active lifestyle, a fitness routine. And some of us have easier times committing to that than others. But something very recently that I started doing that kind of feels like this slept on secret that not many people have been talking about outside of a few influencers. Joe Rogan is one that I've seen talk about it a number of times is cold plunging. I've incorporated a new thing that I was telling you where I get up first thing in the morning, I get in the cold plunge. Extreme benefit to heavy duty cold exposure. Right. And then you force your body to heat up and then you work out. Now, we live in a time, especially with social media videos, where we're all aware of life hacks. These little things that make everyday tasks so much easier that make you slap yourself in the head and say, how did I never think of that? Well, cold plunging is like a body hack. And essentially what cold plunging is, is submerging your body completely in water that is 59 degrees Fahrenheit or less. And you stay submerged for an extended period of time. And depending on your tolerance level, depending on your resistance and how much you've been doing it is what's going to determine that. Uh, luckily, the recommended amount to do this is only 11 minutes per week. So when I first started doing this over a month ago, I was doing about three minutes every other day and totaling out about 12 minutes a week. And it was very manageable after the first couple of times being pretty miserable. <laughs> And after doing it for about a month, now my routine is every single morning when I wake up, the first thing that I do is change into some swimming trunks, jump into a cold plunge and spend the first three minutes of my day in cold plunge therapy. And this is nothing new. People have been doing some form of cold plunging or cold therapy for many years, decades even. You see people that do it in bodies of water that are out by their house, like lakes or ponds and lower temperature climates for sure. There's people that fill up their bathtubs with water and ice and do cold therapy there in the more high dollar fitness therapy and recovery centers and spas. You'll see cold therapy tubs there, but Nowadays, with this becoming more of a mainstream thing in fitness and uh, even kind of a, a bit of a social media trend to a certain degree, depending on what channels you follow, there are a lot more at home options available. And I'm going to tell you about my experience with the one that I've been using for the past couple of weeks and how you can get a hold of it. But really quick, just to kind of run down the actual benefits of cold plunging and cold therapy, because that's the biggest question. And that was the biggest thing that I was so skeptical about when I saw people talking about it. They're like, man, you get into this big ice bath and it's so hard. It's just takes all of your will and strength to stay in it. And then you get out and you feel incredible. And my first thought was, well, yeah, if I'm strangling you, the second I let go of your throat, you're probably going to feel awesome. But the more research that I did, the more curiosity got a hold of me. And especially after actually doing cold plunges for an extended period of time, there are some very significant benefits that will unlock in your body that whether you're a fitness nerd or you're a gym nut or a health nut, it doesn't really matter. Just everyday folks that don't necessarily follow a fitness routine, there are serious benefits to doing just cold plunging. Here we go. Three minutes. Whoo! <laughs> just think of it as conquering your inner bitch once a day. Oh. The major one that you're going to hear most often is it decreases inflammation in your body, in your muscles, and so it helps to alleviate these chronic aches and pains that a lot of us have. I've had pain in this left shoulder 
ever since I started working out again. And even seven years ago, back when I still had a pretty regular fitness routine, my shoulder would always bother me if I tried to increase weight whatsoever, doing anything with my arms or my shoulders. Since doing cold plunging, I have not had a single day where I have woken up with shoulder pain or a single day where I've gotten home from a workout and started to have that regular old ache and pain where I'm wondering if I'm doing something wrong in the gym. My wife, ever since her second epidural giving birth to our daughter, she has had chronic back pain. The lower back on that woman is just like destroyed in my mind with as much as she asks me to crack it and rub it and massage it and complains about it some days where she doesn't want to do anything because of her back pain. And while she hasn't been doing it quite as crazily as me going daily with cold plunge, cold therapy, she's been doing it at minimum every other day. I don't think she's asked me to crack her back once in the past month. Hey, you're splashing me, you little shit. I'll fucking splash the shit out of you. I'll fucking spray you right now with this fucking hose. And going along with reducing inflammation, especially if you are somebody that has an active fitness routine or does any weightlifting routine, it will not only boost your recovery time and make your recovery a lot more significant, but it will also boost the actual benefits and the gains that you will get in your strength training because it increases the blood flow to your muscles. It increases your testosterone. And so if you do a cold plunge bath about 20 minutes before you go to the gym or they recommend four to six hours after a workout, you're going to increase what you get out of your workouts and you're going to reach your fitness goals even easier. There's also a gigantic rush of endorphins and dopamine. They call dopamine the happy drug. And so not only will it instantly wake you up, which is why I do it first thing in the morning. I'm not a coffee drinker. I don't like doing energy drinks. Don't need them at all if I do a cold plunge because the second my head is submerged when I first dip into it, I am wide awake and ready for the day. And it helps your energy levels all throughout the day because of that dopamine spike. And so as soon as you get out of it, you feel great, you feel woken up, and you'll genuinely feel that energy boost that's gonna motivate you to take on whatever you have to take on for the rest of the day and because it is that happy drug of dopamine, I genuinely feel like the stress levels and the anxiety levels of everyday life has gone down and I'm genuinely in a better mood when doing cold therapy. Now, while I absolutely experience the benefits of instantly being woken up, many people also claim that cold therapy improves their sleep quality. It lets them go to sleep quicker and lets them sleep more sound throughout the night, get a full solid eight hours. I personally can't endorse that because I haven't really experienced that yet, but I'm also notoriously a shitty sleeper. So this is something that more people than not have claimed is a benefit. It's probably just going to depend on you. Maybe one day I'll wake up and be able to say, hey, it's working now. As of yet in the first month, I personally haven't experienced that. And the last benefit that I want to talk about, which is probably going to interest the most of you, is that when you do consistent cold therapy, your body's actually going to increase its natural metabolism and you're going to burn more of your white fat throughout the day. When you submerge your body completely in uncomfortably cold water, the inner systems of your body essentially go into panic mode and it revs up the metabolism like an engine trying to burn fat and create heat to regulate your body temperature in this unnaturally cold environment. And you get to reap the benefits of that throughout the day because you're not actually in a dangerous situation. You just submerge for a couple of minutes and then you go and start the rest of your day burning more fat. And as I've said, with the exception of the sleep benefits, I have experienced every single one of these benefits that I've just told you about to where cold therapy, jumping into a cold plunge first thing in the morning is like the best and worst part of my day. You know, it sucks for like the first 20 seconds. I'm not going to lie to you, especially the first couple of times that you do it. But the more you stick with it, the more that your body acclimates to doing this regularly after 20 seconds, it's genuinely soothing and it's genuinely like something that I, I kind of don't want to get out after three minutes, but it jump starts my day in the best and easiest way possible and is a simple and very quick way to unlock all of these things in your body. As soon as you step into the water, you will activate your hyperventilation. 
increasing your metabolism and it will help on your muscles, on your fat storage, and it will help on your mental balance. Now, going back to what I was talking about earlier with methods of doing an ice bath. Now, there's a bunch of different ways that people have done it throughout history. There's a bunch of different ways that people continue to do it today, depending on what they prefer, what their budget is, and what they consider to be the best and most economical way to do it. But with this being more of a mainstream thing that more and more people every day are starting to realize the benefits of, there are a lot of different at-home options. And the one that I've been using for the past two weeks has been Spartan Ice Bath. And for people that are just starting and just getting curious about cold plunges, this is absolutely the best option to go with because the Spartan ice bathtubs are completely collapsible, completely portable. They have a pretty small footprint to where you could find a space very easily in your backyard or in your garage, which is where I typically keep mine. It holds about... 80 gallons of water and it supports people up to six foot seven and setting it up and taking it down couldn't be easier or faster. Essentially, all you do when you pull it out of the box is you inflate the top ring with the included hand pump. You assemble and insert all of the little plastic legs of which there's about five or six of them. And then you're ready to fill it with water. It literally takes like three minutes to put this thing together or to move it. There's also an included drain spout near the bottom of the tub. Whenever you decide to drain this or you're getting ready to change the water or you want to move it to another area of your house, there is an expandable hose that you can attach to that to kind of guide the water flow a little bit more in a direction that you want it to go. I typically kind of have it going underneath my garage door, and it certainly helps whenever it's time to do that. And the tub is made out of thermal and UV resistant material that is not only really sturdy for the amount of water that it's holding, but it also helps to insulate the tub to where the water temperature is maintained a lot better, which reduces the amount of ice that you have to put into it every single time you're gonna do a plunge. I'm in Georgia, it's been in the mid to high 90s and even in the hundreds most days over the past month. And as I said, I keep my tub in my garage most often. And when I wasn't using a water chiller and I was starting off just doing every other day cold plunges, I would notice that in that every other day gap, it would really only drop about 20 degrees in those two days. So it wouldn't take a ton of ice to get it back down to my desired temperature. The Spartan ice bath also comes with a thermo insulated lid, which is just another line of defense to prevent the elements from increasing the temperature of the water inside. I've also noticed that it kind of helps keep the water a little bit cleaner. I don't know if that's just a fringe benefit or if I'm crazy, but genuinely feels cleaner than the previous tub that I have used that did not have a lid. And there's also a drawstring all weather cover, which is kind of your last line of defense to make sure that, especially if you have it outside, that leaves or yard debris or bugs aren't going to get inside the water. And I've noticed pretty much nothing getting inside of it inside my garage. Something that was very key importance for me is that the PVC inner lining of the tub is extremely easy to clean. Now I clean mine, I empty mine out every single Sunday and I use it every day. So the more that you use it or the longer periods of time you go without changing the water and cleaning it, you're naturally going to start to see some discoloration of the water, some discoloration of the inner lining of the tub. And that's why it's very important to change out the water and keep the cleanliness there. But every Sunday when I go to do this, I just squirt a little bit of dish soap inside of it, put some warm water and run a sponge around it. And it comes completely clean, just like it was out of the box. Now, for those of you that are going to try this, I definitely recommend just using ice for the first couple of weeks, maybe even the first couple of months when you're getting used to it, deciding if it's going to be a long term investment, it's going to be a long term thing that you're going to put into your daily routine. But ice shockingly, is much more expensive than you think it is. And the amount of ice, depending on where you live in the world and what the climate is, is going to vary greatly that some people might not even need to use ice with the weather that's outside of their house. Some people might need to use five or six bags to get it to their desired temperature. And if you get to a point to where you decide you don't want to go the ice route anymore, or even right out of the gate, if you don't want to use the ice route, Spartan Ice Bath also has a water chiller option, which to me is a game changer. I used ice for the first four and a half weeks that I did this, switched over to the water chiller when I started using the Spartan ice bath. I will never 
go back to ice. And while the water chiller is certainly an investment right up front, over time, the more that you use it and the more that you stick with cold plunging, it is without a doubt the most cost effective method. You just hook up the included water pump to the drain spout, put the return hose into the top of the tub and the water chiller will pump, filter and chill the water down to whatever your desired temperature is. You just set it to whatever temperature you want on the front of the chiller and it does the rest. And in my experience, it drops the water temperature a degree about every three to five minutes being in my garage. And if you go the water chiller route, it does not take away any of the ease or the portability of the Spartan system. It only takes about three minutes to set this system up and it only weighs about 55 pounds. So even if you're gonna be regularly moving and transporting this tub, the water chiller addition is not going to impede that. And an added bonus for something that's going to consistently come into the contact of water is that it has a matte black corrosion paint on top of it, as well as a steel box frame. And so it's going to be resistant to any kind of corrosion or ugliness over time. And it also uses the same compressor and the same technology that your fridge and your freezers use. So one of my concerns when I started using it was, is this going to affect my electric bill? And in my experience so far, I haven't noticed a difference whatsoever. And the final note for the water chiller is that there is also a pro model available, which is recommended to those that live in higher temperature climates where you have average temperatures throughout the day that is higher than 77 degrees, Georgia, absolutely fits that criteria. So the pro model is what I have. And the only difference is that it's more powerful. It's going to chill the water about two times faster. So that three to five minutes to drop a degree, that is the pro model in Georgia in the summertime heat. Overall, my time so far with the Spartan ice bath system has definitely made cold plunging a very easy and enjoyable thing to incorporate into my daily life. It makes it very convenient to have at my house to where I don't have to pay for any expensive luxury spa memberships. I don't have to waste a bunch of water and money filling up a bathtub with water and ice just to drain it immediately afterwards. And like I've said, when I was talking about cold plunging in general, the benefits that I have experienced just in about five weeks of doing this regularly has been outstanding. And I don't see me stopping anytime sooner. And it's something that I genuinely encourage everybody, whether you're a health nut or you really enjoy fitness routines or you like learning about all the different fads and things that have been going on in the fitness world to check it out because even somebody like my wife that is not a gym nut and is not a health nut and it just lives a regular life but has chronic pain and has anxiety and has stress has seen a lot of benefits from doing regular cold plunges and a lot of you will probably have little things like that that I've mentioned throughout the video that's going to put that light bulb out and make you think this might help me with that issue. So like I said, guys, a very different type of video for this channel. I don't know how often I'll do something like this or even how well received this video is going to be. But when I have a platform where a lot of you guys genuinely are interested and respect my thoughts on certain things, I feel like it's almost irresponsible for me not to talk about health and fitness and some of the things that I've experienced every once in a while in hopes that I'll inspire even just one of you. To, to make some changes that, that I had to make. And, and I genuinely have just had a better life, a better outlook. I feel so much better every single day. And I want that for all of you. So if nothing else you get out of this to start a fitness routine, to adjust your diet a little bit, to make some small steps towards a healthier lifestyle, that's enough for me. But hopefully just this info on cold plunging and the info on this Spartan ice bath system will intrigue a lot of you and motivate a lot of you to give it a shot. And I really want to find out those of you that do try it. Let me know in the comments what you've experienced and how your uh, how your cold plunging has gone so far. And I'd love to hear how it goes. So check the video description below for a link to Spartan Ice Bath and you can check out all the different products they have available if you want to start doing this. And beyond all of that, guys, I just appreciate you watching. So thank you. Well, that's it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed that, there's not a whole lot of other fitness stuff on this channel to talk about. But if you like horror movies, if you like things more along that lines, please click over here for my 2023 new release reviews so far. I'm also going to put my wrap up video from July's movies, which is most recent. Please like, share, hit that subscribe button if you enjoy horror and movies and entertainment. And as always, guys, remember, opinions are like assholes, but that doesn't mean you have to be.